Hey, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library, and in this video, we'll learn how to move a flex item from one position to another without affecting the HTML source code. So far, we'll learn how to use Flexbox Parent properties. We go to Flex Direction, Flex Wrap, Justify Content, Align Items, and Align Content. All of this property that we'll learn to use are meant to be used for the Flex parent or flex container, which is considered as the parent. Now we need to move to the next ones and we need to control this flex items. And we have a set of properties. Okay, let's just bring you that here. And we have a set of properties that we need to use for the children or the unconsidered flex items. We have order, flex, flex string, flex basis, and align self. And we'll go through all of them and we'll learn how to use this flex items properties. We have here a list of items one, two, three, and four. And from the HTML, we define that this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. But what if we want to change the order of these items without even moving the source code, without even getting into this div right here, the first one as moving it. We want to do that by doing CSS. We have a property which can move a flex item from a position to another position, which it is order. So the default order of these items is zero. Okay, let's just write that. So we have zero here, zero, zero, and zero. This is the initial value of the order property, but let's just first select an item. Let's just go for this item two. We wanna put it at the end of the list. So for that, I will use flex, I will select flex box parent, and I will use nth child. Then I will go for the second element, Okay, let's just be sure, so be sure that I'm selecting the right one. I'll change the font size to see. Okay, sorry. So I'll go flex item, not flex parent. And for sure, I'm selecting the right one. Okay, now how to change the order? We'll would use the order property. And as I already said, if you see here, we have an order of zero of each item. And they want to change the order of this item to be at the end. So for that, I just need to use one. And once I define one right here, so this value will be changed to one. The, so now every item here will have zero, zero, zero. And this is the biggest one right here and we'll have one. And if you want to just get this item and put it before the one, and let's just return to the initial value. Now, if I comment that, so you will have zero, 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 zero. Then if I want to move this two before one, in this case, what we should have, we should have a minus one because a minus one is, oh, sorry, a negative one is less than zero. Okay, let's just go here and comment that. And I do one, negative one. And as you see here, now we have a negative one and this two now is before one. So the initial value, just keep in mind that the initial value of the order is always zero. Then if you wanna just change the order, you just need to change the value here to a negative one. But the problem is, what if I set the same order for multiple childs? Okay, I will go here, let's just remove that. I will return to the initial value. Let's just go zero, now let's just save that. And then comment that, no. They are all at the initial value, zero, 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 and zero. And what if I change that? First thing to do is I change that to one. Now, what do we have here? We have the second item, which is here, it has a value of zero. No, it was the last one because zero, 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 one is greater than zero. For sure, it will be the last one. Now, if I copy that and I will take the third element, let us go for the first element and I set an order of one. What now I'll have, I'll have here, let's just remove the zero, but I have one also here, zero, zero, one, two. But why I have one before two? Because here I will take the positioning at the source code of, of the HTML because one is positioned before two. And once they have the same orders, I have the same orders, one and one. So in this case, they will just get into the HTML code and see what is the previous item and where is the next one. And this is the position we'll take it from the source code instead of only the order. Now, if I wanna just reorder everything in this case, okay, let's just move that. 
of the one. Okay, we'll just select the, the first item. Here I'll select the second one and the third one and the fourth one. So as an example, I will go for the first item, I will put it at the third position. For the second one, I will put it at the last one. And for the third element, I will put it at the second one. And for the fourth item, what I have here, three, four, two, one. No, 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 no. Let's just use this two. And I'll go one here. And for the fourth item, it will, it, it will just say, I'll just use three here. And I have four. Okay. Now, what I do exactly, I just comment all of that before I save it. And this is the initial value. I have one, two, three, and four. You can pause the video and think how this code will affect the position and all the order of the items. Okay, now let's just save that. So the first item will be the last one. Okay. The second item will be the second one. It's at its position. And I will just draw that for you. Let's just remove all of that. The third one, let's just go one by one. One is at the order four. The second one is at the order two. The third one, three, is at the order one. And the fourth one is at the order three. And this is what I do with the code. But I need to use order at each item. So I'm selecting each item and I'm using an integer or a value right here and for each position that we want to get into.